Hello. In this video we'll be looking at a cross along and through, like across a garden, for example, or along a road, or through the trees. Hope you enjoy it. We're looking at a cross along and through, three little prepositions of movement, and I've got three little scenes, little stories. And here's the first one. Here's this, believe it or not, is a room. That's the wall, that's the floor, There's a, that's the door at the back. Just to show you, it's a room. There are the walls, but I'll take those away for the moment and put in my little friend, George. Now here is George, he's standing there in the room. I'll get my grabber. And now he's walking across the room, across the room to there. Now he's walking across the room over there. Now he's walking back to where he started. So I'll just write that in, across the room. He could be going over there, over there, different directions. Right, let me grab him again and take him on another little walk over there, across the room. Now he's going along the wall, along the wall, he's looking at the pictures. He's going along the wall and then he's going back across the room to the middle, then back to where he started. So I'll just write that in, along the wall. Now I want to add a new element to the story, which are people. Here they are. Lots of people in the room. There's a crowd in the room, in fact. And once again, I'll grab my friend George and he can walk through the crowd. He's walking through the crowd to the door. Now he's walking back through the crowd over here to the wall. Now he's walking along the wall. He's walking back through the crowd, across the room, to where he started. I'll just write that there at the bottom. Through the crowd. Oops. Through the crowd. There we are. Now I'd like to do a diagram just to show that idea again. So here's a long, which is like following a line. And here's a cross which is going from one side of an, to the other of a surface. And finally, through, which is like into the middle of something and out the other side. Right, now I'd like to move on to my scene number two. Here we've got a young man who is ready to go hiking. He's got his rucksack and there's a field, a wood and a river. I just put the three words in there, field, wood and river. And here's the young man off on his walk. Use my grabber. There he goes. And he goes across the field, through the wood, and along the river. I'll just write that in there. So I'll write across the field. Oh, I haven't got much room here. I'll put it above. Through the wood and along the river. There we are. So once again... We've got across, we've got through, and we've got along. Now let's move on to the last picture. If you've seen enough, you can just jump ahead to the test at the end. Otherwise, look at this. Here's a young man with a rucksack and a dog, and he's walking across the road, and he's walking through the house. You can see them through the window there, whoops. And across the garden, and along the path. And there he stops. So again, I'll just write in what we need here. Across the road, well, that's not very clear. And through the, where shall I write it? Um, I know, I'll write it up the top. Through the house and across the garden. Oh, that's not very clear, but you can see it just about. And finally, along the path. And that's it. To finish, I'll put the little chart back there. Along, following a line across from one side of a surface to the other and through into the middle of something and out the other side. Right, now it's time for the test. So we'll just rub all this out, get my rubber, rub all that out. Here we go. Yes, and I'll put test up the top here. There we go, test. Now I've got a little passage with five blanks and three items to put in. You can guess what the items are. It's not difficult. So I'll just write the three options at the top here 
across, whoops, across, try again, along and through. And here's the passage with the first sentence highlighted. Sue got out of the elevator on the sixth floor and walked the corridor to the open office at the end. Think about that. Oh, sorry, no good. Try again, click here to try again. Yes, that's right. I'll just write the answer in. Along. And here's the next one. She walked the doorway, etc. Think about that. Make your choice. Click on one of the three words at the top. Oh, oh dear. No, sorry, that wasn't the right one. Click here to try again. Yes, well done. That's right. I'll just write the answer in there. Through. She walked through the doorway. And the next one. And the office to her desk. From one side to the other, that is. Oh, no, sorry, that wasn't right. Click here. Have another go. Yes, well done. That's right. I'll just write the answer in. Across. And here's the next one. Behind her, a big window ran the wall. And so on. Think about that. Make your choice. Oh, oh, no, sorry, that wasn't right. Click here to try again. Have another go. Yes, good, that's right. I'll just write the word in there. Along. And the last part of the paragraph, giving her a view, the city to the mountains. Oh, no, sorry. <coughs> that wasn't right. You have to click here to try again. Yes, that's it. Well done. I'll just write the answer in across the city and you have finished but before you go just look at this now that you've finished the test ask yourself this question how many did i get right first time you can watch again now or later you can take the test again now or later or if you're ready you can try something different and whatever you choose to do keep a record it really does make a difference. That's all. Bye for now.